Good morning. Welcome to Bedhead Poetry Session 6. Paper Thin Walls Paper thin walls and hallways, pathways through which one travels, one-way tickets and air, breath, the beginning of lost vehicles and becoming the vehicle through which all thoughts travel. Having too many voices in your head to concentrate on more important things. Divisive entities. Things that look threatening from the corner of my eye. A smile and thinning hair. The rare occasion that one takes less pie than one wants. The rare occasion that one does not want rare books. Accepting a check for services never provided. Providing services for checks never received. Wandering through hallways to find the room in which she is sleeping, in which someone has fallen ill, in which he has passed. Passing between breaths and buses to find one's way back to another, interpreting her words to mean more than she has intended. Forgetting how to perform on stage in front of millions, waiting in line to deposit or withdraw funds, funding one's own funeral, funding one's own wedding, funding for illnesses, beckoning her spouse to bed, beckoning her spouse to the kitchen, beckoning her spouse home from work, working on projects in order to stay busy, to accomplish something, to show that one has not wasted his time not working on projects, forgetting how to punctuate or to punctuate altogether, wondering when the appropriate time is to look at one's watch in the middle of an important meeting when one has children to pick up by 3 p.m., wishing there was more time to do the things one wants, wishing one managed time better, allowing one to represent either he or she, even though it doesn't really matter since the people offended by gendered language are not the people one wants reading this anyway ranting in the middle of a poem, ranting in the middle of a grocery store, ranting in the middle of nowhere where one is lost and upset that there, were, that there were not more specific signs signifying the construction and necessary detours that make it possible for one to be on time having left at that time instead of earlier. Hearing over the radio after he has already taken the detour, that there is a detour one must take off of Highway X to Highway Y in order to get to Street Z. Using letters to represent the names of things. Math in the midst of chaos. Order in the midst of calamity. The death of the most important person in one's life laughing at jokes in what seem inappropriate moments, laughing because one insists on being happy whenever one can, handling the pressures of success, handling the di disappointment of failure, figuring it out or not, listening to music in order to evoke tears, to experience some sense of catharsis, imagining that you are the only one who cares about this, that, or the other thing. Wanting to be better than your fellow man, tracing the shape of your hand with pencil on paper to create the outline of a turkey to show that you are festive, to show that you like to decorate for special occasions. Thinking about the number of people thinking about how much food to make, thinking about the number of extra folding chairs in the basement, opening up 
boxes of ornaments, opening up boxes or gift of gift tags and wrapping paper, pursuing a career in something obscure that no one except you will understand, resisting the temptation to buy gifts for yourself, giving in, giving, receiving a notice of eviction, considering the pros and cons of living beneath a bridge, remembering childhood stories, remembering, stilling the waters with your mind so that you might swim without being rushed toward the dam, asking yourself where this is coming from, and then asking yourself from where this is coming. Examining the difference between a door and a window, enter and return. Coming to terms with the fact that your days are numbered. Counting down from ten to one on New Year's Eve, exclaiming, Happy New Year! Wondering, while looking out the window at falling snow, how many people are really happy. Hoping to fall in love in spring, arriving at the airport, departing, parting, making one's way through a ver vast variety of doors, sliding, revolving, push, pull, manual, automatic. Imagining climbing out of a bathroom window to make one's escape. Imagining making one's escape. Breathing. Holding one's breath. Holding a baby. Holding a crying baby on an airplane that has just taken off. Just taking off. The perpetual push and pull of moving within currents, letting go, letting go.